Okay, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am finally home. We're finally in the groove of things and today ah, Today is rock metalhead Friday. So in a video just barely I Confessed that I have never listened to stairway to heaven the whole way through I've always known it was a joke especially from Wayne's world that you can't play um, the riff in um, at Guitar Center or anything like that. I recognize the initial riff, but I've never gone the whole way through. So one of you very kindly generated one of our biggest donations to the channel before asking for us to check out Stairway to Heaven Live. So let's do this. This is from the old tapes. This video has 130 million views since it was posted on January 26, 2018. My gosh, I, I can't wait to see this. I feel like um, we've had amazing experiences in, the, in this channel with some of these performances, like with uh, Band-Aid, with um, Live Aid, with uh, Queen, their performance there. Band-Aid. It's technically our top performing video um, on, on the channel. What well, was coming close to it, but we actually removed it because their their copywriters are pretty intense. Um, the Eagles Hotel California from the 70s, that live performance, absolutely amazing. You can check it out on Rumble. So I feel like we're going into, again, this genre of just historic, important live rock performances. So without further ado, let's do this. If you're new to the channel, what up? Check out the description down below to find ways to uh, to help out and support. I've actually checked out Hart's version of this before, haven't I? That was probably weird to have checked that out before this, but let's uh, let's roll it. Got a dual guitar with uh, the twelve string up there. It's beautiful. It's reminding me of music in Peru. <laughs> it's like those flutes. And I think there's something appropriate there. Stairway to Heaven, we have Machu Picchu in, in, in Peru where, you know, it's essentially a place where you're trying to ascend to heaven. So there's a little bit of symbolism there. Stars, bro. Look at him. Stars are all close. With a word, she can get what she came for. Ooh, ooh, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. There's a sign. She wants to be sure Cause you know Sometimes words have Two meanings Sometimes words have two meanings, yeah By the brook There's a song that sings Sometimes all of our thoughts Are misgiving I can taste the psychedelics from here, bro All about that <laughs> Okay, we're supposed to pause these. Wow, I don't know the song was this beautiful, man. I, I think I said the same thing when we listened to Heart do it, which was probably the first time I also paid attention to, to the lyrics here, but this is pretty profound. She's buying a stairway to heaven. We're looking for that thing. It's almost like that Tower of Babel. We're trying to get there, but we, we've we had the stairway to heaven the whole time is what I'm thinking about here. Again, this is where, like right off the bat, I want to I wanna hear... From you comment down below what uh, what does the song mean to you as we keep listening to the song let's let's hear from you there's a reason this song is so important like in our history so Ooh, that 12 string sounds awesome Smoke through the trees and the voices of those 
sorry, I'm 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 just I'm awfully distracted right now. Look at that thing. But dude, what a deep song, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Again, these guys are the OG like rock stars, man. Well, at least some of them, right? <laughs> That's a powerful question he asked there. Hypnotizes me with a guitar. Okay. 
Sorry, quick break here. I've been starting to follow all of these like guitarist Instagram page uh, pages, and uh, they always make jokes about like his incredibly long guitar solos. But wow, are they awesome? We have checked out Led Zeppelin on the channel before, and I have always I've had this experience with him for some reason many times, man. Jimmy Page again. I can't think of a better word. He hypnotizes me with his guitar, and I don't know how because it's not like he's playing something incredibly complex or brilliant. I don't know what where. What is it? What what is is that that there's just no fluff? Is it? I don't know what it is. Yeah. Page is a baller, bro. Jeez. Look at that face, too, man. He is so in. Okay. Let's go, bro. Dude, this is such a cool ending to the song. I got chills here. I stay away to heaven. Ooh. Oh man. Jeez. I can like hear, okay, I can like tell where from listening to this, I can tell where so many artists got where they got their ideas from man like uh i can tell that what's his name axel rose right guns and roses i feel like this is where he's got his inspiration for his voice the guitar the yeah dude that was that was profound why was it why was it profound why i'm not on anything right now what a great solo again i don't understand it because again it's not hard it's not a hard solo yeah and, and again it's such a powerful song like i feel like all the all the you know, false gods, false idols that we build for ourselves looking to ascend when, again, we already have everything we need. And that's just living a righteous moral life, serving others, being true to ourselves, speaking the truth as as much as we can, if not always, not through like wealth or status. And this makes so much sense when, when the song was written, when all of this was being something discussed um and as we wind on down the road our shadows taller than our soul there walks a lady we all know who shines white light and wants to show how everything still turns to gold and if you listen very hard the tune will come to you at last when all are one and one is all to be rock and not to roll well how about that that's an interesting line if you listen very hard the tune will come to you at last the tune the song the vibrations right we have to live in a way so that we can be attuned to the right thing so that so that we're in heaven now R written by robert anthony plant jimmy page these guys were deep thinkers man this is a weird thing but and, i mean uh, this is coming from a from a place of like i've lived a very you know conservative christian life and whatnot but i don't know there's just so much research coming out right now about the the benefits of like <laughs> 
psychedelics and whatnot. And uh, for some reason, the song <laughs> gives me like a sense of like, there's something there. And I, I hope we keep looking into it. And I've never had chemically induced uh, psychedelic experiences, but I've had some like a breathing exercise induced ones and it's a cool experience. It's amazing. Oh man. Oh wow. Yeah. That song was cool. That was amazing. Viewer, before I, I let you go, uh, comment down below. Why, why is this song so important? Why has it lasted so long? I feel like I can tell the reason there was a, it was a, it was a hard time in the world and, but music was becoming more accessible and more interesting like this. And it might've been a huge catalyst for change for a lot of people. So yeah. What, what, what do you think? I can't wait to hear from you, but oh man. I can't think of an epic song like this that's been written in my generation. Not to talk bad poorly about my generation, but I just, have we done something like this? We will see. Um, well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, honestly, you support this uh, channel just by watching. Hitting like and subscribe helps a lot. Um, in the in the description down below, you'll find the tip jar and all of these things. All of that help and guidance uh, means the world to me. If you tuned in, um, I hope... Um, it made you happy for yet another youngin, if you will, to experience the power of this song. And and I hope you had a good time. And I hope I hope uh, music, good music like, like this, is uh, it's giving you the strength to tackle whatever you're tackling. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys. Much love. Till the next.